Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss Gaffel's exercise for one word or a number in IELTS listening. First, listen to the tape and answer the given question. In the end, we will discuss along with the transcript. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. Section 1 You will hear a phone conversation between Alex, an employee at a company called JPNW, and Martha, who wants to work as a trainee at the company. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 7. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 7. Hi Alex, it's Martha Kynes here. James White gave me your number. I hope you don't mind me calling you. Of course not. How are you Martha? Good thanks. I'm ringing because I need a bit of advice. Oh yeah, what about? The training you did at JPNW a few years ago. I'm applying for the same thing. Oh right, yes. I did mine in 2014. Best thing I ever did. I'm still working there. Really? What are you doing? Well, now I work in the customer services department. But I did my initial training in finance. I stayed there for the first two years and then moved to where I am now. That's the same department I'm applying for. Did you enjoy it? Uh, I was pretty nervous to begin with. I didn't do well in my exams at school and I was really worried because I failed maths. But it didn't actually matter because I did lots of courses on the job. Did you get a diploma at the end of your trainee period? I'm hoping to do the one in business skills. Yes, that sounds good. I took the one on IT skills, but I wish I'd done that one instead. Okay, that's good to know. Um, what about the other trainees? How did you get on with them? There were about 20 of us who started at the same time, and we were all around the same age. I was 18, and there was only one person younger than me who was 17. The rest were between 18 and 20. I made some good friends. I've heard lots of good things about the training at JPNW. It seems like there are a lot of opportunities there. Yeah, definitely. Because of its size, you can work in loads of different areas within the organisation. What about pay? I know you get a lower minimum wage than regular employees. That's right, which isn't great. But you get the same number of days holiday as everyone else. And the pay goes up massively if they offer you a job at the end of the training period. Yeah, but I'm not doing it for the money. It's the experience I think will be really useful. Everyone says by the end of the year you gain so much confidence. You're right, that's the most useful part about it. There's a lot of variety too. You're given lots of different things to do. I enjoyed it all. I didn't even mind the studying. Do you have to spend any time in college? Yes, one day each month. So you get lots of support from both your tutor and your manager. Hmm, that's good. And the company is easy to get to, isn't it? Yes, it's very close to the train station, so the location's a real advantage. Before you hear the rest of the phone conversation, you have some time to look at questions 8 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 8 to 10. Have you got a date for your interview yet? Yes, it's on the 23rd of this month. So long as you're well prepared, there's nothing to worry about. Everyone's very friendly. 
I am not sure what I should wear. What do you think? Nothing too casual, like jeans, for example. If you've got a nice jacket, wear that with a skirt or trousers. Okay, thanks. Any other tips? Um, well, I know it's really obvious, but arrive in plenty of time. They hate people who are late. So make sure you know exactly where you have to get to. And one other useful piece of advice my manager told me before I had the interview for this job is to smile. Even if you feel terrified, it makes people respond better to you. I'll have to practice doing that in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck. Let me know if you need any more information. Thanks very much. Now we are done with IELTS listening gaffles exercise. It's a communication between Martha and Alex about training. The first answer is finance. When she asked him, really, what are you doing? Alex says, well, now I work in customer services department, but I did my initial training in finance. So don't get confused. He is talking about he did this training. I stayed there for the first two years then moved to where I am now. Then Martha asked, that's the same department I'm applying for. Did you enjoy it? I was pretty nervous to begin with. I didn't do well in my exams at school. And I was really worried because I failed maths. So the answer to the second would be maths. In the third question, Alec thinks he, sh he should have done the diploma in DAS skills. So the answer to this is business. How? Martha says, did you get a diploma at the end of training period? I am hoping to do the one in business skills. Alex says, yes, that sounds good. I took the one on IT skills, but I wish I had done that one instead. So what Alex was saying, he would have done that. It was diploma in business skills. In the fourth question, age of other trainees, the youngest was. Alex says, there were about 20 of us who started at the same time. We were all around the same age. I was a teen and there was only one person younger than me who was 17. So the answer would be 17. Now move to fifth question. Trainees receive the same amount of dash as permanent staff. So what it is, when Martha asks about pay, I know you get a lower minimum wage than other regular employees. Alex says that's right, which is not great, but you get the same number of days holidays as everyone else. And the pay goes massively, goes up massively if they offer you a job at the end of training period. Sixth question is, trainees go to Dash one day per month. If you go to the transcript, do you have to spend any time in college? Then say, yes, one day each month. So you get lots of support from both tutor and your manager. So the answer to the sixth one would be college. Next question is, the company is in a convenient dash. If you go to the transcript, he said the company is easy to get to, isn't it? Yes, it's very close to the train station, so the location is a real advantage. So, what are they praising? What is convenient? It's location. Then, for the 8 to 10 questions, advice for interview, don't veer, don't we, make sure you... If you go to the transcript, Martha is saying, I'm not sure what I should wear. Then Alex says, nothing too casual like jeans. That means the jeans would be the answer. Then next, any other tips she asks? Then Alex says, uh, uh, well, I know it's really obvious, but arrive in plenty of time. They hate people who are late. So don't be late. So make sure you know exactly where you have to get to. And one other useful piece of advice my manager told me before I had the interview for this job is to smile. Even if you feel terrified, it makes people respond better to you. So if you see the answer, make sure you smile because it's one word or a number. So I hope this video will help you. Keep watching. Thank you.